A golfer came to me for a lesson, really suffering with the hooks. And all I did was make one simple change to his setup, his lead arm position, his golf swing that allowed him to hit much straighter golf shots. We were going from seven out of 10 shots, hooking miles left to seven out of 10 shots, much straighter, closer to the target line. And this is what I'm going to be revealing to you in this video. But just before we do that, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Harry and I help golfers transform their games worldwide. So make sure you drop a comment down below with tips or drills topic you'd like me to cover in a future video. And be sure to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner if you enjoy watching this one and you take these tips on board for your golf game. So when we get this hook taking place in our golf game, it simply means that our club face, our club face here, is very much so closed to the swing path, the direction that this golf club is swinging on, from backswing to downswing to follow through finish. So I'm just going to place this device here on the end of my club here, just to show you, make things easy for you to see whether it's an open face, closed face, where this club face is going to be pointing. And I'm gonna use this stick here just to make it easier for me to show you what the club path is like. So I'm going to just place this yellow alignment stick on the ground here, just to represent the club path. Now, I'm going to represent this as an in-to-in -in swing path, and usually this will be on a slight little curve, okay, but I've only got a straight alignment stick, so it's just easier for me to show you how this looks. So, I'm going to place this golf club down like so, and I want you to imagine that this yellow line here is the swing path, so it's very much neutral, lovely, and square. So, if I just now take this club head itself and move it to the left like so here, you can see from this camera angle behind me here that it's pointing miles to the left. In fact, I'm just going to bring this slightly further forward just so you can see it from a closer angle from there. So I've got those two lined up pretty much bang on with each other. And now I'm just going to move that club face to the left and you can see how much that affects the direction of the golf shot. If that's pointing way to the left for right-handed golfers, going to cause those hooks to the left, you can see there, club face closed, and this is what always causes those golf shots to curve to the left. For right-handed players, it's going to be that golf shot that curves to the right. So in simple terms, to be able to stop this hook, whether we swing out to in like this, if the club face is still very much left, pointing left of that path, it's still gonna to go to the left. Or even so, if we're gonna go this way, which is what the tendency we have, slightly in to out path, with the club face being close to that, even if it's pointing down our target line, we're still probably gonna be hooking those golf shots. So in simple terms, as opposed to looking into changing the path, what I show you later on will help this a little bit for you. But the key to this is how we can control this club face angle better, how we can keep this more square through impact. But there's a reason why golfers will have a tendency of doing this. There'll always be a reason to why the club face is slightly out of position at impact. And for my student that came to see me, and this is probably what a lot of you watching this video are suffering with who have this hook, is that they were actually rolling the wrists and opening up the club face on the backswing. So rather than me just showing you his entire swing, I'm just going to show you a simple little half swing that we were noticing with his golf game. So I'm just going to set up here. And what we noticed was that when we were taking the club head back, the club face itself was rolling very much so like this here. And you can see there that leading edge of the club face in relation to my spine angle is very much on a complete, pretty much opposite angle. The idea of this position here for the takeaway, what we like to see, well, what I like to see as a coach is seeing that leading edge to so this end of the club here on a line that's parallel to my spine angle here as well. Because if we just take the club back to this point here, very much open, and we turn through now, well, the hosel's going to win that race to the golf ball. So more likely to hit those shanks, if not hit those golf shots miles to the right. We've just seen there, just from having this little device placed onto the club, how much of an influence this has on the actual direction of our golf shots. So if I just do that again, rolling at the wrist, very much open, and I turn through, you can see how much there that's pointing to the right. So we've got to do a lot of work in the downswing to be able to get this club face fairly square. And what the tendency for a lot of golfers is that they'll do this too much. They'll do this too quickly and they'll also do this too early. So this is where that early release takes place. And this is one of the most influential factors on a closed club face at impact. 
if we can reduce this early release, this release being too much and closing the face down, we're not gonna be hitting those hook shots. But to do this, we've gotta be controlling that club face on the way back. If we open the face like this here, before we even look into the lead arm position, the left arm position, we've gotta fix this move here because we're opening the club face here, encouraging the golf shots to go right. So we've got to then do this action, influencing this action here to take place which is no good. We've got to get it more on plane to make it so much easier for the follow through stage and obviously sorting this left forearm out. So all I'm going to do just to help control that club face on the way back is take this alignment stick that I was using before just to represent the club path. I'm going to place it on the lead side of my grip with the majority alignment stick hanging away from us. I'm going to place this so we're at the address position it's going to touch the left side of my body like this here. And the key to this, I'm just going to mention this quickly, just so I, we're making sure that we're controlling that club face on the way back and on the way through. Otherwise, when we change this forearm position, this little tweak that I'm going to mention, it's not going to give you the very best results. We want to make sure that as soon as you do this, you see huge results. So we've got this stick on the left side of the body like this here. And all I'm going to do is just make sure that stick is continuing to touch the left side of my body as a right-handed player. For left-handed players, think the opposite on the right-hand side of the body up until this club head here reaches to a point just before parallel to the ground. What this is doing here for me now, it's allowing me to set the club. If I just take this all the way up to the parallel point here, you can see the alignment stick does come away a little bit, but that parallel point there allows me to get that club face now, this leading edge of the club face more parallel to the spine angle. So that indicates that we've got a square club face. If we stop this alignment stick from touching the left side of the body, it's a good indicator that we're rolling the wrists so much, bringing the club on the inside, but the main thing in particular, opening up that club face. So in order for us to stop this early release taking place, we've got to fix the cause, which is this movement here. So just take an alignment stick like this and just setting the club to here really allows you to develop a feeling and understanding of what that's like for you to keep that club face nice and square. But I bet you didn't notice for those entire few swings there, and as I set up to the golf ball to do this, where my lead arm position was, did you? And the key now with the lead arm, the left forearm position, is that we want to be stopping this release on the way through now. We've squared the club face here, but if now we do this early release taking place, we're gonna be hooking the ball even more so. So how can we fix this bit? The simple tweak that we want to be making is rather than having our lead arm set in this position here with the elbow pointing towards the body. This is what we call external rotation in the left forearm, the lead forearm for me being a right-handed player, okay? Because if we have it in this external position, look how easy it is for me to close that club face using my wrists, using my wrists to rotate the club face closed. But if I set the arm instead, in more of what we call an internally rotated position, okay? And I grip the club like this here, I can only close the club face down so much with my wrists. So straight away, if we can set this lead arm, this left forearm in what we call a more internally rotated position, and that's gonna make it so much easier for us to control that club face closure, so where the club face is pointing at impact. So we've controlled the face on the way back and this is how we can get that control back on the through stage of the swing. So in simple terms, what did you notice there? The difference between this external rotation and the internal rotation. Well, when I get this external rotation, the lead elbow is pointing just to a point underneath my left chest muscle here, okay? Whereas if we get this internal rotation taking place, now, the lead elbow wants to be pointing more towards the target. The actual net, the screen here, down here at the golf projects. So when we get this club set in this very much so internal rotated position, so to do this, I'd recommend just taking your right hand on the club to start off with and just place your hand with the palm facing away from you like so. And then you're just going to bring it round so the palm now is facing towards you. Now the goal here is to keep this arm in this set position here and you're just going to twist the hand to grip the club like so. And again, 
it makes it very difficult for me to really close that club face down. So I'm going to set up now with this internally rotated forearm position. So the lead elbow is pointing towards the target and that makes it very difficult for me now when I set this club more in this angle here to close that club face down. I've got to do a lot of work now with my right hand to really close that club face down. And at speed, okay, you'll probably find it easier if you try to hit it left Okay, with these short chip shots I've just been doing there, these short swings. But when you're doing this at 70, 80 miles an hour with a seven iron or drive or whatever a club it may be, so full swings, it's gonna be even harder for us to get this club face to close down because the faster we swing it, it's very easy for us then to delay this club face closure through impact. So if we swing faster, the club face is gonna be delayed. If we swing slower, it's easy for the hands to catch up and get that release taking place. So just to start off, I recommend having a couple of chip shots using something like an A-Time, but also the GX Golf Glove, the brand new golf club, which is a brand new sponsor to my channel. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on premium golf gloves that are very expensive these days, the price is going up all the time, then I'd certainly recommend checking out GX Golf. GX Golf, brand new sponsor to the channel, and I got involved with GX Golf because they do provide really, really high quality golf clubs, premium Cabretta leather golf gloves for a fraction of the price compared to the rest on the market. So you can use also a discount code down below, Harry10, to get 10% off your total order. I'll leave the link in the description later on for you. So I've got the A and I've got my brand new golf glove on. I'm just going to make a slightly narrower stance, just practicing this. I'm just going to tweak this lead arm position, this left forearm position here. So you can see there the elbow there now is very much pointing underneath the chest. I'm just going to get this pointing towards the target. So I'm going back and forth, just allowing this to take place. And if we just play back that video again, you can clearly see here that the club face is more in control through impact. You can see there's not a lot of release taking place at the club head, which means it's a great indicator that we are doing this move right. We're just simply setting the arm like this here, ready to hit the golf ball, because then it's very difficult for us to get this release taking place. As opposed to if we set it here, look how much room I've got to really close that club face down, way too much. So building this up into full swings now, then all we have to do from this is just focus on this little move here, the takeaway. The rest of the swing will stay the same. I like to think maybe a little bonus tip for those of you who really suffer with an either too far outside swing path or too far inside swing path to begin that golf swing is that once you've set the club to this position here that we've been working on, we just wanna get this club to go over the right shoulder. And that allows us to get this good rotation, get our back facing towards the target, get ourselves in a relatively good position at the top. A more athletic, just like the pros do out on tour, really nice set position. So from here now, during the downswing, we've just got to fire this as hard as we can. The more we slow down, the more we're inclined to get this release taking place in our golf games. So to stop hooking and never hook your irons, by changing this left forearm position, you've got to rely on a lot of speed as well. So rather than swinging slower to try and get that strike, swing faster, knowing that you're going to hit it straighter. So we're going to just set up now, slightly wider stance, of course. I'm just going to tweak this arm position again, get it facing towards the target with my left elbow, all set in position here. I'm just going to get that good turn to the top, thinking just a little bonus tip, club going over the right shoulder and then hit the golf ball. And look how straight that was. Okay, you could be a little bit picky there and say it went a touch left of target, but that is so much better than the hooks I saw from my student in that golf lesson. So for those of you who have been struggling with the hooks in your golf game, I'd certainly recommend giving this a try. And if you've come this far, then I'd highly recommend hitting the subscribe button so you stay tuned on all the latest and greatest content coming to you every Tuesday and Friday. And for those of you who would like to learn a little bit more about how we set this right form in the correct position, then you can check out this video over here specifically for the driver or just an overall view on this right arm and why we should be setting this right arm in a more, I'll give you a clue, externally rotated position, okay? Lead arm was internal, right arm was externally rotated position. You can check out the video in the bottom corner there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.